it was pretty, pretty scary. So just the not knowing is scary. It was just chaos. On Friday, August 4th, a YMCA summer camp bus rolled on Highway 55. Many campers were injured and taken by ambulance or helicopter to local hospitals. It was truly terrifying for the campers and for their parents who were waiting for their kids in the YMCA parking lot in Boise. For one North End family, it's a day they won't soon forget, no way. But what could have been the worst day ever had a silver lining thanks to their many heroes. Maggie O'Mara has the story for us tonight. So I was sitting in the YMCA parking lot for a while, and then a while turned into longer, and then chatter started happening amongst the parents. But we had heard that there was a crash. Taryn Johnson was so worried about her 13-year-old daughter, Michaela. I tried to call her, and um, she didn't answer. And so full-fledged panic there. Taryn tracked Michaela's location on her phone. I saw her bubble and uh, called my husband. I said, her bubble's moving, there's been a crash. So my husband got in his truck and went and found her bubble and uh, he said, yes, it's an ambulance. I said, yes, are the lights on? Michaela's dad, Jason, followed the ambulance all the way to St. Luke's downtown, not knowing what to expect. Jason got there right as the ambulance pulled up. He was right behind them. So he got to see her right then and there. At that point, he texted, she's going to be OK. She was awake. Yep, she was terrified. She wasn't really making a lot of sense. Um, they had her in a neck brace and that kind of stuff. So it was scary, but she was alive. She's got a fractured collarbone and a concussion. All the kids walked away alive, so that is quite a miracle. Um, guardian angels were watching over them. It gets me choked up just thinking about it because it's still pretty fresh and uh, yeah, craziest day of my life. There's more to this story. Before Taryn went to pick up Michaela from the YMCA that day. I had um, chicken stock simmering on the stove. In all the chaos, Taryn forgot about the chicken stock and her house filled with smoke. The fire alarm went off. As I was pulling into the emergency room parking lot, I had just parked my car, I get a phone call from a number, you know, unknown number. And so I answer my phone. It was the Boise Fire Department. They told her what had happened, and she told them about Michaela. We'll take care of things here. You go take care of things there. The Johnson's Ring doorbell video shows that's just what they did. A group of firemen, they came, they brought fans, they blew the house out. I know you saw that beautiful note that they left. They left this note on the fridge, something that made the Johnsons tear up. So sorry to hear about the accident. We pray that your kid is okay. We put a replacement chicken and salad dinner in your fridge. We'll go grab her a chicken from help. Take care, Boise Fire Engine 2C. Seriously, the coolest thing. Taryn and her husband were so touched by that gesture. What an amazing community we live in, and I'm just so thankful. Nothing is damaged, everything's intact and perfect. Little smoke smell, but that's to be expected and could have been so much worse. Michaela is now home from the hospital and she's healing physically and emotionally. So Michaela's been getting a little bit spoiled with flowers and cookies and lots of well wishes from you know people that love her. Everybody's been so supportive, even people on Facebook, like from across the nation. It's been kind of cool for Michaela to know that people care and yeah, there's a lot of love out there. And the Johnsons are so very grateful for their heroes. What could have been like the worst day ever times a million ended up being beautiful and everybody's okay. How cool is that, that they actually went and got a replacement chicken? Wow, well, the Johnsons have a lot of heroes to thank. The first responders and EMS who helped Michaela and the other campers right after the rollover, the St. Luke's hospital staff, the Boise Fire Department, and of course the outpouring of love and support from the community. The family also had the chance to thank their Boise Fire heroes in person. 
they're humble guys and they didn't want our cameras there for that. So thank you to Boise Fire. As we reported last week, the injured campers are now home from the hospital with their families.